I want to see what magic looks like. This is how it appears to be. What a response, what a win. And when all the other teams want to be like us, the mentality monsters. This is what we time and again keep telling them. This is how it's done. This is how you do it. You don't have to be a wannabe to become it. You just do it and get on with the reputation. This is Liverpool. These are Klopp's mentality monsters. Every season, no matter what situation is, no matter what team composition is, no matter how tough it gets, whenever it's required, we stand and deliver. Players do deliver it when it's just us against the world. Be it the refs, the mockers, or the doubters in against. So the happy happy faces after the match, down to the two brilliant finishes from Darwin. World class goals, won't have done it better. And also thanks to the players behind him for those vital passes. Oh Salah, what a club legend he is. People do come at him for not scoring many goals. Our highlights were the goals that he used to score. But what they fail to understand is how beautifully he has adapted to our play style. But since we dropped too much of pressing, which we got famous for, Gagan pressing I'm talking about. He's involved creatively and that does help team out as much as his goals do. Also, he is here to stay. He ain't going anywhere. Let's talk about the match from beginning. As much as refereeing looked biased throughout the match, we can't deny the fact that Trent messed up badly on that goal which Newcastle scored. Anthony Gordon, what a finishing from him. 1-0 up, the castle moves and things weren't looking eased up for us. And then the most bizarre decision to give our captain right is out and out crazy. It was a yellow fold by a free kick to the opposition, but not a right at any case. Plus, I don't understand one thing, the protective nature of war towards the on-field refs. The hesitation to tell them to collect their shit and fix it. They just don't get it and learn. I mean, it's so dumb and tiring now. Every season, every game week, it remains the same story. So, Joe Gomez steps in. Diaz was taken out and had to be. I mean, we were 10 men down. And I would give him kudos for the performance he put in. Valentin best of his shape mentally as he revealed a few days back, about a week back or so. But we managed the game well until the halftime by no conceding a goal. That was a big plus for us. And big ups to Alison for that. How many times he saves us and does what best keeper on the planet should be doing. He's undoubtedly the best and the court level keeper even got applauded by the opponent manager for that save on Almiron shot. What a save that was. And let's move on to the second half. We had to be precise in what we were doing and won't take it away from Newcastle that they had chances to seal the game, which they didn't capitalize on. The introduction of Harvey Elliott and Jorah was of massive help for sure. Alongside, of course, the star of the match, Avin Nunez. And we will talk about that later on. Fine, fine ground covering from Harvey. That definitely helped us. And of course, Subosulai did a good job throughout the whole game. Endo was taken out, but he had just fine, fine, fine match. Man's been not been able to play with the whole 11 players in both the games that he started. So that doesn't help too much. But I hope, I believe, he is going to get better as he gets the game time. And final final 10 minutes of the match, that's where it all slipped away from Newcastle's hand. It was a brisk shift from the draw to the win. And the man of the win often did it. The player I hoped Glove would start at the first place. And he does it in precise fashion by smashing the ball at the bottom left twice. Dusting it on the faces of the refs and opposition fans with that wink and the flying kiss salvation he did. So game over, 3 points secured. Let's move on to the next one.